Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I've got a wonderful haul from the flea market. So this is the Litchfield Pickers Market, Litchfield, Illinois, and we always have a pretty good time whenever we go. Barb and I, we go to this occasionally. I think we've been only like two, two times this year, though. But all in all, I'm really happy with this assortment of stuff that we that I bought to resell on Etsy. Most of it will be going on Etsy. I don't think any of this will be going to the booth, and I don't know if, I don't think really any of this I'm gonna keep either. So that's all profit right there, really fun. Okay, so one of the first things that I bought whenever I walked into the flea market was this pair of salt and pepper shakers. Now I believe these were $3, two or $3 for these brown bear salt and pepper shakers but I have them right here. They are so cute. They are actually really well done. The amount of detail on these are really good. So they also do, well, one of them has the cork. I'll see if I have another spare cork in my uh, salt and pepper shaker cork collection. <laughs> I do have a little bag of the uh, stoppers. So see if I got one that'll fit that. But these are wonderful and I'm gonna put these online. They're salt and peppers. I don't know if I, I that's too, yeah we think we know that already so i'm gonna put these on my etsy for like 24 to 26 dollars with shipping included they're just really really cool so i think those will check a lot of boxes for people that collect bears and hunting things and wilderness all of that so those are really fun Let's stick those over there so i don't get confused what was the next thing that i bought probably so there was this area, like this table, and everything on the table was $2 each. Was shocked at that price because there were some really good standout items on it. So let me just show you some of the things that I bought from that table. Starting with this really fun toy. I always forget the name of this. It's either Donald Duck or, it, this is Donald Duck. So I'm pretty sure. Donald Duck, but it's like this toy and you pull the string and it still works. Here, I'll see if you can hear it. I don't know what he said, but it was something. Let's try again. I don't know what that is. We'll see if there's a different saying. That's all he says? Oh my goodness, he said. Ah. So is it just those two? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So that's really cute. It's made of plastic. I don't see like any writing on it, which is unfortunate. Not sure how much this thing goes for, but there's really no chips or cracks on it. And uh, it's just really fun. So it's probably from the 70s if I had to take a guess at it, at it. Can't believe it still works. So that's cool. It plays at least two different sounds or sayings. And for $2, not a bad purchase, I don't think. So at the low end, it's probably a $15 toy. At the high end, 25. So there's that. I will stick that in my Etsy shop soon. Hopefully it's already on there. So that's cool. <laughs> he fell over. Okay, another item that I bought was this here. It's like a little, what I thought was a creamer, but it's not a creamer. It doesn't have a hole in his mouth. Oh, no, it comes out the top. It would have been cuter if it came out of his mouth. So it's this little creamer here. I thought that was kind of fun for $2. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be other than like a little bird. And it's really pretty colors though. And the animation is really well done. Gold, you can see like the bits of gold outlining on there. Really cute. Something like this, I'll try for about $24 to $26 with shipping included on Etsy, it's like this pottery material though, so it has a good weight to it. You could do a lot of things with this. You could put flowers in it, pencils. That's about all I can think of. <laughs> uh, 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 paint brushes, lots of things. Anything that's tall would go good in there. Uh, I did also buy these wonderful Siamese kittens, cats, These this planter. This was also $2. So these were really great prices and there's no chips or cracks on um, any of those things. So that's just 
outstanding. This one here I'm gonna put for more on my Etsy shop. It's a larger size, it's of cats, so it has that going for it. I'm not sure who it's made by, could be Royal Copley, but I don't know. So something like this, I probably will go like $40, $45 on Etsy. It does have weight to it. That's a big reason for that. And I have bundled shipping. So uh, yeah, about $40, $45 probably with shipping included on this kitten scenario for $2 I paid. Really pretty. And it's just very awesome. I like that one quite a bit. I also bought this duck uh, for $2. It's not uh, like that's special. I mean, it's not a planter or anything. It's just kind of this figurine, but for $2 and no chips or cracks, I thought it was really pretty. And the coloring and the paint job is kind of one of those reasons. I have been not buying many duck things, but that's starting to change, I'm finding. So uh, yeah, I'm just, we'll see how this duck goes. I think it's a really cute version. And um, for $2, not a bad price. I will list it for with shipping included, probably about $24. Nice size too. Pottery, it's hollow too. Another planter that I bought from those same people, this is another heavy one. This is Royal Copley. It even has the sticker on it, which is awesome. It's the dog in the mailbox. Very, very cute. No chips or cracks, which is outstanding for something like this. And, uh, Offhand, I'm not sure what it's going to sell for. Probably uh, 25 plus shipping. So with the weight and everything, that would put it probably just under $40 as well as the kittens. So it's just a really cute dog with a mailbox. How fun. Oh, you, I, you know what? You could probably put mail in here. I Maybe that's what it's used for. I don't know. But like you could actually fit on end mail right there. That's cu That's a cute idea. Oh yes, yeah, that's a good idea. So I will put that on Etsy, very, very cute, and $2 can't be beat. So I will go ahead and tell you the last thing that I bought from them for $2. It's right here in my hand. Although I did not buy it at that time, I uh, they had like a grouping of these and I went ahead, walked around, bought everything, and then on our, on our way out, I stopped by that table again. I thought maybe they would do a dollar for it because it was winding down. Well, it really wasn't, uh, but they only had a few more hours left of the day and I just thought that they would do a dollar. They wouldn't. So I bought it anyway. This I see all the time. It's also Royal Copley and I see it all the time because it has the ivy leaves on it. So naturally, you know, with collecting the Franciscan ivy dishes, I uh, am attracted to the ivy things whenever I see them which is like Poppy Trail by Metlocks or the Caliprint, not Caliprint, Callaway by Corel. So anytime I see Ivy, I'm kind of like, what is that? But this one here I thought is was really pretty for a long time. It's just I never wanted to spend the money for it because, you know, you do see them all over and they're like $12, $10. This was $2. No chips or cracks. It has the sticker, which is kind of the selling uh, point for me. I'm going to hang on to this one and put it with my other stuff. So, oh, I guess I lied earlier. This is the one thing I'm keeping. Maybe one more thing. Maybe one more thing. So I thought this was fun. A steak. Oh, I'm keeping this too. <laughs> it's a steak and shake mug. I don't know when it dates to. It's made by Buffalo China. It has the Buffalo insignia with the word China below it. And it's embossed into the pottery. So this one here is a nice steak and shake mug. It could be from the 70s. I don't know if it's any earlier than that. Um, I don't know that, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I've tried looking it up. You can't necessarily go just by the, the logo here. That doesn't help at all by going off of how the logo is done. And then this logo right here, that doesn't help either. These were also made by Interpace and I think one other company, if not Buffalo, it was Shenango, maybe. I need to double check that. But um, yeah, so I don't know when it was made. That's beside the point. I love Steak and Shake, love the atmosphere, great prices, and this is a very nice mug. So I imagine I'm gonna have hot chocolate in this mug. 
oh, it's gonna be great. So I paid, oh, I paid $6 for this. I think it was six. It's either five or six. I think it was six, because it was originally $8. Yeah, I think so. And they sell on eBay if you're wanting one for yourself, now that I showed you that one. And I think they're about 15, I think they're between eight and $15 usually for one just like that. So not a bad price. I did get some salt and pepper shakers, which I love doing other than the bears. These are of some cute little frogs, some ceramic frogs. They are wonderful. So there's the pair of them. They're this nice, fun, brighter green color. And they have just this very, I don't know, reminds me of Kermit the Frog, kind of their, their little faces. But uh, yeah, I would imagine these are Japan. However, they don't say that. It could have been a sticker that came off. But uh, they're fun. So those will be going on my Etsy shop probably around the $20 mark for these with shipping included. These other frogs, or toads rather, they're really cool because they have much more coloring on them and character. These were $2 a piece, by the way. $2 for the set and $2 for that set. This set has a yellow toad, I guess it's called, and a green one. So these ones I'm gonna ask for more because they have more character and they're just, they're just cool. Uh, the price point, probably like $26 if I can get it with shipping included. I haven't really done research on these kind of things, like with frogs. In fact, I don't think I've ever sold frog salt and pepper shakers. These are made in Japan. They're stamped with that on the bottom and they both have their corks. So those are ready to go. These other ones don't have corks. I'll supply those. I've got them. So that is good. Then... I went to this other ta this other table where this lady had this setting out for sale and it had $5 on it, which is an attractive price if it's in perfect shape. However, as I was looking it over, there was a couple issues. Now, a set like this, I wouldn't expect someone to use, but then again, why wouldn't you want to use it? Because if, you know, it does take up a nice footprint. So all the important pieces are there and they're working well, like the salt and the pepper shaker, these are made by Gift Ideas Japan. So we have the S and the P for the little salt and pepper in this kind of mid-century mod style. Then we have like a little toothpick or a creamer. Uh, either way, you wanna use it for that one. And then we have like a little jam, covered jam jar or a condiment jar. And then the oil and, oil? What? They both say O on it. That's strange. Isn't that weird? Well, the oil and the oil. So it's supposed to be oil and vinegar, I guess, but one of them, this one over here, has this big old repair or hairline on the bottom of it. That detracted from the value in my mind a little bit, so I paid $3. That was actually her price. Once I showed her that, she was like, oh no, I didn't know that. Well, would you do three? I said yes. So for $3, it's pretty good. It's a nice tray. I like the fact that it's all kind of contained in itself. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is the wood looks like it's kind of split a little bit. Or maybe that's just the way it was made. Either way, it's in pretty good shape regardless. I will sell this for mm, maybe 20, about, about 20 bucks with, I mean 20 plus shipping. So that's like 30 let's just say $30 with shipping included. So for a $3 investment, I'm gonna turn that into 20 is basically what I'm saying, I think. From that same seller, I bought this wonderful little bud vase or toothpick guy, no, it's a, it's a vase. It has this black cat on it, it was a dollar. Fine, I'll pay that, made in Japan. It's just cute. So this one I may or may not keep because it is just a dollar. I'm not sure if it's gonna sell for what I'd wanna sell it for, which is $18 with shipping included. We'll see if it does or not. I'll list it, my mind, I swear. I say I'm, I might not, and then I say in the same breath that I will. It happened. I'm just gonna list it, okay? All right. I also bought this clear glass elephant covered dish. I thought it was fun. So the back comes off like that. You could fill it with a little candy or whatever, but it's in beautiful shape, no chips or cracks. I looked it over 
really well because I think it was it was five dollars so I mean it wasn't cheap I didn't bother negotiating because it's a good price for what this is it's a good solid piece I asked her what it was from she said she believes like the 70s I don't have any reason to think it's any newer than that but it's hard to tell whenever you get into clear glass and she said that she thinks she bought it when she was on a trip somewhere um, hopefully not elephant hunting in Africa <laughs> what was that I don't know but anyways, I will list this online. I'm not sure the price on it yet. It's just very unique. I need to double check the price on something like this. I think it's gonna be more than $20 plus shipping. So it's probably gonna be 34 to $38 with shipping included for something like this. I bought this salt and pepper shaker set. I think these were like $5 though. Uh, it's the, the trout and they're Inesco Imports Japan. They had a whole bin of these and I only bought these because of the size. They had their foil, they each have foil stickers and they are Inesco and they have wonderful coloring and they're of fish. So all of those criteria, I think will help it being sold. Much like the bears, um, these are a good gift idea for anyone who likes fishing or hunting or like they have a lake house or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, the fish motif I think will be good for these. I'm going to sell them for roughly $24 with shipping included for those fish. I think they're really fun. And like I said, there's no issues with them. No chips or cracks. This little girl here, I swear, is just the cutest little thing. So if you watch my videos, you may remember something kind of similar to this because of the umbrella. I bought at an auction one time a Norcrest... I believe it was an open hat. I think she had an open head, like an open head vase. So it was of this girl. I think she was wearing like a black and a white kind of a clothing. It was really pretty. This reminded me of it because of the umbrella. It had a metal umbrella uh, on the other one. This does come off. So this is also made by Norcrest. And I know that because of the N with the C overlapping insignia on the bottom. It's also marked Japan right here on the inside of this. There are no chips, which is great. There might be, well, there is sort of like this craze, this crazed line going through the dress. It's structurally intact. It's just, it's there if you really look for it. However, it's really pretty and in all other ways it's in perfect shape so there's no like missing fingers or anything like that and uh, I do like I do like this a lot I paid either it was a dollar or two dollars which I thought was outstanding considering I paid from that same vendor five dollars for the trout salt and pepper shakers this is Norcrest Norcrest tends to have a little bit more collectability behind it I have sold Sometimes I get asked like, what's the most expensive thing you've sold and all this. I don't necessarily re remember that, but what I do remember is I sold a Norcrest. They were wall plaques, like I think they were mermaids and they sold for, see it, I don't remember how much. I think it was, oh, shoot. I'll just write it here at the bottom. I know it was a good sizable amount and I paid $3 for them. So those were fun, but they were also made by Norcrest. So um, yeah, I like that girl a lot. I think she's really good, uh, really pretty. So that one should do well. I don't know offhand the value of something like that, but just kind of what I'm looking at here, it looks like a $50 with shipping included type figurine. I did also buy these black amethyst, black depression glass, could be Ellie Smith candlestick holders. They're black glass with this kind of red striping on the bases here, right along the bottoms. I was on the fence about these because they were $3, but then we looked at them a little bit and then the guy was like $2. So that's a dollar piece. I can do that. And um, I just have a hesitation against pillar candlesticks. Not, you know, for any other reason, just that I don't, I don't decorate like that. So for me, I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping these. They do look good for Halloween, but that's only like a month of the year. And I'm not keen on having a lot of stuff like this that I'm not gonna daily wanna see out. So they might get listed. 
I just need to double check the value of something like this if it's going to be worth it for me to list them. They are candlesticks. They are very nice shape. There's no chips or cracks on them. They are black depression. It's just, I wonder what the desirability of something like this is. Uh, my instincts are telling me that if they were to go online, they would sell for about 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping so for that i could i could maybe get behind listing them if, if that's what they were but if if they're like literally ten dollars or less for the pair i think i'm just gonna hang on to them maybe wait for de black depression to skyrocket or something we don't know if it will or not but who knows so in keeping with the black glass i also found a couple other um things and i didn't even look these up yet darn it i should have if i find anything about them i'll list it right here on the video as i talk but these are some really nice glass black glass dishes so whenever i walked up and i saw this and you might remember it from the video they had just like three pieces on a stack it was a grill plate a saucer and a cup and I was like, oh, how cute. That would look great in my curio cabinet. I was thinking this. Well, I asked the guy, how much do you want? I think it was like, I don't know, a dollar, like two, three dollars for, for that stack. But he's like, I've got a whole bunch more under the table. And he did. So what I'm going to show you, he had all of this and he gave me the group price for $12 for all of the black glass. I think I'm going to separate them as I'm going to show you in two groups for sale. The first group being... A set of four cups and saucers black glass but I don't know who made them I need to double check that they have these banded sides to them much like uh, hazel atlas did with their platinite not aware that hazel atlas did anything in black glass or not wait a minute I think they did I think they did yeah they did they did like the clover pattern they did the clover leaf pattern, that's right. So these might be Hazel Atlas, now that I'm thinking about it. So it's a set of four cups with saucers. I will look those up and see what they're doing for price. But then we've got the larger set right here with the another set of four with the cups. So another four piece cup and saucer set. However, it also comes with a set of four grill plates. So these are super fun. It's the Black Depression grill plates. They were used in diners and things like that. But yeah, they have these divided sections so you could put your food in there. So there are four of those. So it's a nice, even set, ready for sale. I gotta look those up. If I'm not happy with the prices, I'm just gonna hang on to them. So I can rest assured about that. But honestly, I don't need these in my life. I don't entertain. I don't hardly myself even eat on anything other than paper plates, which is sad but it's a lot of work washing dishes. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see what those do. <clears throat> I think that's actually everything. Yes, it is. So hopefully these black glass things do really well. Not sure. I can't really see through them. Sometimes you can see purple, which means they're amethyst glass. Other times they're made of a deep amber color. Other times they're made of a deep olive green color. Uh, but without a very, very bright light, I can't tell in this case. Not that it really matters. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.